I'm Mike Weaver, and this is Curbside Eats, where we show you what's under the hood of your favorite food trucks. Today we're in Santa Monica, California, and we are looking at Fry Smith. Look at this thing. It's a veritable tank. It's a beast. I'd kick the tires, but I think they'd kick back. They specialize in French fries with, for lack of a better word, a meal on top. It all looks fantastic. It smells fantastic, and I can't wait to get inside. Come along with us. Right off the bat, I love the fact that they're selling fried food with no guilt, no shame. You're gonna eat french fries today, you might have steak and cheese and all kinds of nice sauces on it, and you're gonna enjoy it. You're not gonna feel bad about yourself after. Thumbs up, Friesmith. Look at this guy. He's got his track pants on. Clearly, he just came from the gym. It's for everybody. So I'm with Eric Cho and Brooke Howell from uh, Frysmith fame. So your background in food, you first there. Uh, my background is I grew up around fast food basically. My mom owned a couple of different uh, fast food places and that's kind of where I grew up. Right. And then I had a little bit of experience in fancy kitchens. But right. then, you know, uh, mostly I just love to cook. With Brooke and I have always loved to cook at home and mm -hmm. you know, having all that background too, we just decided it was it was kind of what it was we time to do, to do it. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Brooke? Did you ever work in restaurants? Um, I worked in a bakery before. I did the Good. cooking on that. Right, the cookies. The yeah, yeah, no, the cookies look fantastic. Yeah. I'm hoping to talk my way into one of those later. <laughs> this truck was built from scratch, from the ground up. Is that correct? That's right. This truck used to be, was originally a laced potato truck. After that, it was used, uh, actually some guy was brewing biodiesel in the back because his wife kicked him out of his garage. So, And this the truck runs on straight vegetable oil. So. We kind of brought the first two lives of the truck back together. So 100%, <laughs> when you're going down the highway, it's running on oil. Uh, we're starting on diesel to get the engine hot enough to right. run, the, the, run it, and then we're finishing on diesel for a couple of minutes, and the rest of the time it's running the stuff that's used in this fryer, and then afterwards it goes in there. We choose lots of organic ingredients, and um, eating you mainly is really important to us. Cool, um, cool. I mean, and other things we do is make sure everything that is we serve in is biodegradable, right. recyclable. Right, right, right. And like so much the waste is made by sure, plastic sure, sure, and sure. recycle. So. so who comes up with the recipes? How do you guys decide on that? That's me, like, you know, it's all kind of my little brain children. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, before we started up, I wanted to think of basically different things that would be great on fries. Yeah. Chili fries had become like the apex of the enterprise. But yeah. We wanted to take Ooh, I it, like that. We wanted to take it to a whole new place. So, yeah. you know, so we, just a lot of different things that kind of represented um, kind of like, you know, LA culture and cuisine. And so stuff. this is your, your uh, main facility. You Everything is made here on the truck. Um, yeah. But this is like, take a good look at the truck. If you guys, so, if you guys did, everything is made. In here, it's fryers. 15 foot of, of kitchen. Stuff. Yeah, we, we figured out kind of how to get everything going in this small space, but uh, it works out pretty well because it's a lot more cooking space and fridge space than most of the trucks have. Brooke just brought us out a couple of deals here. Why don't you tell us what it is? It smells and looks fantastic. Okay, well, on my left, this is kimchi fries. And this is probably my favorite. Lots of everyone in the truck loves this the most. Wow, um, unbelievable. It's predominantly kimchi, which is a fermented Korean cabbage. Mm -hmm. It's spicy, it's really unctuous. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. we do it differently. Um, we pair it with pork belly, which isn't that uncommon, but our pork belly, we actually use Kuroboto pork belly. It's a special breed of pig. It's heirloom, it's not fat farms and we braise it so it melts off lots of the fat Oof. but it's just like like a pulled pork texture oh, God, yeah, mixed up there with cheddar cheese mm -hmm. and like a like a red bean sauce oh, too. My God. So I'm trying to get everything on this fork that I possibly can to get a load of every flavor as it comes into my body oh my god the pork belly perfectly crunchy kimchi is this beautiful texture Honestly, that pork is like melting in my mouth right now. I barely even got to the fries. That is a wonderful lunch. It's a wonderful lunch. It's got the slightest touch of heat, spice, that just finishes off so nicely. Not so much that if you didn't like spice, it would repel you, but a perfect amount. That is succulent. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Weaver. I got my mouth full. Remember, wherever there's a meal on four wheels, you'll find us. Me, really. I'm doing lots of this. Get in here, you.
I'm Mike Weaver, and this is Curbside Eats. Today we're in Culver City and it's freezing. Must be 63 degrees for crying out loud. This is Chef Brian's comfort truck, purveyor of soul foods, comfort foods, and the like. Brian is a celebrity chef. Anyways, I'm gonna go jump in the deep fryer and heat up.